you'll realize that we have been predominantly at being a technology partner to bank bridging the solution gap for the payments digital payments from interoperable system to the banking ecosystem which is like ntc at the bank whatever usp you bring in the market how big is your market let's look at that we are doing 10 billion transactions a month i mean it's maddening to see that number yeah, yeah. so you know we began the launch with trying to solve the inclusivity issue when i say so uh, i'm talking about those who are not on debit card if you're not on debit card if you have jandan account and you don't have debit card you can't be part of uh, upi ecosystem hello and uh, welcome to cio news i am kushpa soni founder and uh, chief editor at CIO News. This is an exclusive Tech Talk interview series and uh, this time we are talking about time pay. I am very excited to invite my guest once again on CIO News platform. We have Deepak Chan Thakur, the chief executive officer and co-founder of NPST. Deepak needs no introduction, but I'm going to take a few seconds to do that. He's currently functioning as a CEO for uh, Network People Services Technologies Limited, and he's been managing the business organization's growth, strategic planning, redefining solutions uh, as the business needs. And uh, Deepak is a creative strategist, having ability to roll out and implement solution to generate reasonable value for stakeholders. in the industry and um, a versatile uh, business manager with proven competences in optimizing team dynamics deepak thank you so much for joining us once again on the cio news platform and really excited to have a conversation with you once again thanks and uh, such a lengthy introduction my god <laughs> thanks so good to come back and you know but it is always uh, good to see uh, cio great interacting at gff as well lovely to uh, take this ahead and uh, let me see what are the questions that comes up sure in fact like i said uh, you know this time we're talking about time pay so i wanted to in fact begin uh, by putting across my question to you around how do you think as an organization you know what do you think of being tipa as a third party application provider yeah. so basically we if if you look at the value chain of the organization you realize that we have been predominantly at being a technology partner to bank bridging the solution gap for the payments digital payments from interoperable system to the banking ecosystem which is like ntc i to bank okay mm-hmm. so if you talk about imps of or you talk about upi we have been tech partner to bank providing payment solutions where they can operate on upi platform right so that that is our traditional model under which we are working but our vision is very clear we want to be part of the entire financial value chain so that means we are not going to stop with bank alone how can we utilize our experience and technology and take it forward so from bank the next step is obviously payment aggregator and the merchants i think you have seen last one and a half years our journey we have moved up the value chain and then we have built the solution for the merchants as well and that has been the turnaround story for npst for last one year now uh, it has a direct impact on uh, i would say the organization scale the skill set the the horizon under which it works uh, the audience it targets and at the same time uh, the pnl so everything has a positive impact when you move up the value chain beyond merchant the last leg is obviously how do you reach out to the user so when you reach out to a user you are actually creating a very strong i would say end to end value chain right from npci to bank bank to aggregator aggregator to merchant and then from merchant to users now yeah so time pay does that role for us wherein for npst where we see that uh, you know so so our aspiration has been far fetched i mean we have we have never been satisfied with just being a tsp we yeah. want to see that what more we bring on the table so as a tpan there is a lot more that we can bring for the industry uh, through our interaction with user 
through our user journey, uh, touching the final user base, right? From the experience, the user base, the tech requirement, and every single nuance is required to make payment a success. We will be touching that area. And when that happens, obviously that gives the strength of delivery across the value chain. I mean, it goes even the backward. It has a direct impact on my merchant, on my banks, and then obviously, we are working very closely with NPCI as well as a partner under NPCI partnership program. So yeah, so TPAP for NPST is the final leg in the entire financial value chain, where from bank to merchant and from merchant to user, that is the journey which we are trying to bridge. Got it, got it. And uh, Deepak, uh, how will time pay contribute to the digital payments ecosystem? Very interesting. Let us understand. I mean, you know, people keep asking me, what is the USP? What is the USP? Let us understand this very clearly that, you know, whatever USP you bring in the market, how big is your market? Let's look at that. We are doing 10 billion transactions a month. I mean, it's maddening to see that number. Yeah. A yeah. global platform, if you look at the global numbers, you add the global number and probably you'll find that, you know, India alone may, you know, somewhere uh, in next few years, will do the the transaction that everyone in the world is doing together. Yeah. So that's the pace at which we are running. I mean, just imagine 400% growth, 500% growth. We are not talking less than 100. So 10 billion transactions. And then you see only few TPAP, you know, Google Pay, you know, Phone Pay, you know, Paytm. And then there are a few more who have the, a very specific use case. It may be a cred, it may be Tata Neo. So all of them have very specific use cases. So if you see the overall market share and if you see the market growth, yeah. both taken together, you will realize that there is always a need for a TPAP. Right. And I mean, or I know that the industry talks about Duopoly or, or the industry talks about three to four application maximum will cover the entire industry. That's fine. But right. there is always a scope. There is always a space when you're actually running so fast. Yeah. We have been running with a single number of about 30 billion transactions, or I would say 1 billion transactions a day. But then uh, we suddenly hear, you know, new, uh, news from uh, NPC that why can't we think about 100 billion? Why can't we think about, you know, 10 billion a day? I mean, just imagine the kind of numbers expected to grow in India is, is humongous. Yeah. When there is a growth prospect, for sure, there is always an opportunity for a new entrant to come into place and bring the best possible service, customer experience, and few things which, you know, probably there is a gap in the industry. So subscription is starting right now. So there is an area which needs to be targeted by every single uh, player in the market. Credit card is just evolving. There is yeah. so much scope around it. Uh, you have credit line from RBI, uh, you know, telling uh, about credit line in the UPI. You have, you know, several use cases coming on prepaid vouchers. So all of these are scope which are untouched. I wouldn't say untouched, but these are yet to be defined in UPI. So th there are so many new firsts which are going to happen in the industry. Being there and having the right user base will allow you to grow along with the new use cases which come along with it. So I believe that TimePay will continue to contribute in bringing new use cases, continue to add value around better technology required by the industry. And we being the only TSP, having the entire financial value chain presence, right from NPCI to bank, bank to aggregator, merchant, and then user, we have much deeper understanding of the solution which is delivered to the user so awesome. there is something that we can add to this particular journey sure. so these are the things that we will contribute to the industry and what i further see is that being a partner under npci partner program we would like to do a lot of pocs or we would like to do a lot of new solution requirements closely with you know industry leaders or or reach out to them and say that hey this is what we have bought from user why yeah. not work together and do this maybe bank or with npc or with anyone so right. these two things which we would like to proactively bring rather than reactive to what solutions are being given in the market 
so these are few areas that we feel time table will play a major role got it and uh, when you talk about the, the security aspect right how can time pay provide total security you know to customers throughout their payment journey very important i mean since it's a financial transaction it is critical yeah. for you know this this question is bound to come uh, so let me tell you that we are there is a very very strong compliance requirement by given by you know npci when you get an approval like until you don't clear that checklist and you don't go through the CISO uh, expectation of your sponsor bank, you just cannot launch your application. And we have been in this industry for last eight years, continuously working for banks and continuously working for, you know, payment products. We know what are the uh, security requirements, what all breach we have seen in the industry. We have to be abreast with it. Yeah. So all that experience around security we have brought into the application. Secondly, the checklist which we have been asked to complete, it may be bank's requirement, it may be NPCI's requirement, that is also satisfactorily completed. And, you know, these are areas which we have taken as priority from day one. So for us, security is top priority. We are certified as per the compliance, as per all the requirements of the solution. So uh, user can be rest assured that, you know, this is one application where the experience not only comes by completing the security checklist or you know CISO requirements, but also last eight years of experience we have in managing security in the payment app. So yeah. that is an added advantage which my user will get on the application. Got it. Got it. And uh, when we talk about um, you know some of the initiatives, so what initiatives is NPST taking? You know to bring full stack solution experience and a seamless uh, user experience to become a one-stop uh, merchant platform? So, you know, we began the launch with trying to solve the inclusivity issue. Let's understand that currently in the industry, we have, we have several segments which needs direct access to payment solution. When I say so, uh, I'm talking about those who are not on debit card. If you're not on debit card, if you have Jandan account and you don't have a debit card, you can't be part of uh, UPI ecosystem. Yeah. So we were one of the first one to do Aadhaar based onboarding on UPI. Irrespective of that, we did not go live, but we were the one to do POC for that. So that was one of the key area of bringing such population on UPI. So those are the excluded segments. And when that happens, something like self-help group. So when you talk about self-help group, they are about empowering women also, women self-help group. And when that is so, they just don't need a user app. They also need a merchant solution. A merchant solution which can where actually they can create collection, they can collect money through QR, they can get the entire reconciliation, a solution, a mobile application where you don't have to be dependent on Soundbox, which is mobile in nature. And it gives a complete control of generating merchant-based applications straight away to the self-help group. Right. Today, a self-help group can log into one of the merchant platform that we have. And then if the, that self-help group have, let's say, 500 odd women doing business, then each and every woman can download mobile application, the KYC process, the onboarding process, their uh, registration, financial uh, literacy, or you talk about, you know, post transition reconciliation, chargeback, refunds, everything is managed on a single platform. So we can give such platform to uh, these groups. And the same can be extended to farmer community where there are PACs, primary agricultural corporate societies. Same can be given to all those communities wherever there is a digital payment need. So TimePay is a complete package which goes to the users for transacting seamlessly. And at the same time, merchant to operate their business seamlessly. So this is what we have launched. Uh, our intent is obviously to collaborate in the industry. So we are not here to, you know, go on a very traditional model of burn cash and, you know, straight away get the user. Instead, what we want to do is we want to take this as a complete solution. Go to, uh, you know, banks or go to several uh, entities where there is a need for such solution and be their tech partner. Just giving technology may not help. Where will they go for the end-to-end -end solution? That is where the 
time pay comes into picture. So we have technology now, and at the same time, we have approval to operate payment. And when that happens, we can give a complete package to them. It may be any group, any society, collaborate with them, empower them, and give them a solution, the user side as well as the merchant side stories. So that is what we intend to do. Excellent. And I think um, that's the beginning for time pay, right? Yeah. What's the roadmap? If you can share the roadmap uh, that you've, you've built, a uh, time pay uh, roadmap to build the entire uh, you know, NPST journey for a B2C uh, application. So, uh, rightly pointed out, you see, uh, we have always been B2B, okay, but about 10 years now, uh, 4th October will complete 10 years, uh, that's our foundation day. Time pay is, is not 100% B2C, when the merchant side is indeed B2B and user side is B2C, but we need to understand that the ethos of the organization is completely on managing B2B business. So, we completely respect that and that is why our existing teams, team members or existing set of people, it may be from the business side or, or it may be from the solutioning or it may be from, you know, the user experience perspective or it may be the entire user journey. Everything will be a separate unit altogether. It will not be operated by my existing team. Okay. And the bigger reason is that we don't want any confusion uh, coming across building a B2C platform when there is a B2B business going on so well in the organization. Right. So it is a complete focused approach wherein the banking business continues to operate uh, strong under my CTO. Then we have API business completely managed by you know business and operations team, well taken care. And when it comes to B2C, it will have a separate unit altogether wherein they will ensure that right partnership programs are run uh, we have right collaborations in place, uh, user experience is maintained. So B2C will have a separate vertical or I would say separate set altogether so that my B2B runs successfully and it grows leaps and bounds as per our strategy. At the same time, B2C gets its own space to create new dimension for NPST in future. So it is going to only add value going forward. So that's how... We have structured things right now, and I, I believe that it's only going to scale further as and when we go ahead. And as and when it scales, obviously, there will be so much new uh, that it will bring to the table that, you know, we'll have to keep on upgrading our strategy around it. Great. I think exciting times for um, NPS to yep. ahead. And uh, congratulations to you and the entire team. Uh, for the launch so I think it's great times ahead if you can share what are the short term and medium term goals for time pay uh, I would say that uh, the short term goal is obviously by this financial year this particular new team I really vouch for them uh, those who are working on B2C platform this new team is able to prove its metal in the market when it comes to application acceptance and it has a good user base, creates a very strong brand image for the organization. The app is well taken by my shareholders. It, it reaches out to my partners or, you know, it reaches out to every single person who has known NPST as a tech company. And now they would say, oh, they are also present in this space. So the creation of that strong brand resemblance with NPST's value, then, you know, Proving our technology capability, user experience, you know, that level of stability is what I expect in, F in this particular financial year. Along with that, obviously, we are going to collaborate with, so we have already signed up uh, deals with uh, multiple such entities such as, you know, Kuberji or we have our own 2000 centers. So there are several physical centers in semi-urban and rural India where we are going to ensure that time pay is well taken care. And when this happens, we are going to ensure that from short term to medium term, we have extremely strong user base. So we may not look for a huge market share, but uh, this is a country of 1.28 billion population. UPI may be about 350, 400 million. I'm, I'm sorry, my numbers may be outdated, but uh, if that is the number and that is the 
country that we are talk, talking about, I believe that in medium term, a one one to two percent market share is a great number to you know target. And in long term, I would say that let the vertical scale and the number resembles uh, what Chandrayaan or Anitya uh, you know does. So yeah, that's that's how I see uh, time. Great vision. I think, and um, looking at how the market trends are, I think uh, with uh, meeting up to the demands of the market changes that, that's happening, I think excellent work done on that front. Uh, once again, like I said, congratulations. And I'm really, really excited to keep having these discussions with you to know, you know what's new uh, at NPSD and what are the kind of innovations uh, that you're bringing in to address some of the market challenges. So exciting. Congratulations. And I think we'll end our episode now with this note. So thank you once again, uh, Deepak, for joining on our platform, sharing with us uh, on the work that you've been doing in this front and um, the vision um, of NPSTs. Thank you so much for joining us. Mm-hmm.